So, came up to the property this weekend with the new truck. And, um, to meet with the survey guy. And we walked around. We, we got up here much later than we wanted to. We didn't get up here until about 1 o'clock, which is the time we were supposed to meet the guy. And we spent an hour walking the property and looking at all, all the updated uh, plat lines so we know where all of our boundaries are. Also found out that there's a lot of bears up here and, uh, of course, a lot of deer. And apparently there's also a lot of rattlesnakes and copperheads, so that'll be interesting. But, um, so as you can see, since we haven't been up here much this year except for to stop by, uh, our cleared area is not so cleared anymore. It's really becoming overgrown. So we decided last minute that we were going to bring the camper up and um, do a bunch of uh, clearing. Uh, but because we got started so late in the day, of course, you can see the main part of the clearing is not done. Uh, but it was cool to walk the whole property, even though a lot of it's overgrown, and we found some extra boundary lines we didn't know. There's one corner of the property that goes way up on the hill to the field in the back, so that was kind of cool, although it's hellacious getting up there. But we did get some clearing done. Um, here we are with our little ratty camper set up. Um, we have pretty much zero electric except for uh, the lights most of these lights are all battery powder powered. Um, we've got that little light inside, but we thought that we were also, that our battery that we charged last night would power the plugs, and they do not. So it is super hot and muggy, and we have no fan and no air conditioning. Um, and so that's gonna suck the night for sleeping for sure. But, we, the little bit of time that we did have, I got all this area weed whacked out uh, to make a nice little grassy area in front of our camper. Started clearing out around some of the trees and we're gonna do a lot more tomorrow before we leave. I don't know. Just heard some weird sound out there. Coyote, maybe. Um, but we got a lot of this area all weed whacked down. And the creek is running really high. Well, high compared to what we're used to. Every other time we've been here, it's been pretty dry or barely trickling. But um, maybe you can see. Hopefully, you can see that. It's kind of dark right now. It's about 7 30 or quarter to 8. Um, but the, uh, I'll show more tomorrow when it's lighter and see if you can get a better idea, but it's running really fast. We walked across it a couple times today in bare feet. The rocks are really slippery, but, um, the water felt good on my feet for sure. It's not too cold, but there's, this is our little campground that we've made on our property. Um, we have a lot of work to do, but for our first outing on the property, um, it's pretty exciting. Also, uh, we met a neighbor. His name's Mike, and he lives down at the first house at the end of the road that we pass on the way in here. And a uh, super nice guy came over and had a beer with us, gave us lots of information about the area, the water, trees, the animals. Um, he told us about the neighborhood. And... Um, that it's super safe up here. Well, there's like nine cops that live in this area. Um, and uh, that should keep any bad elements out. Um, and everybody around here knows everybody. And he said that we didn't have to worry about anything. Um, because, except, bears except for bears and snakes. But uh, cause we had gone up to town cause we forgot a few things. So we came down here and dropped off our camper and uh, we were worried about leaving the camper here because anybody could just come and take it if they really wanted to. 
I don't have the thing for my selfie stick, so we'll see how this works. But um, so yeah, so we were worried about leaving the camper here uh, that somebody could just come up and take it, even though we set up the whole thing, put up the can canopy and everything to make sure it was at least difficult for if somebody wanted to steal it. But after talking to Mike, he said, you know, everybody watches out for everybody out here. And he's like, most people know better because going on to somebody's property around here will get you shot. Uh, the neat thing about living in West Virginia is that everybody it's, has a gun on their hip. Everybody has a gun and it's on their hip because it's open carry and uh, you don't even need a permit for open carry. You only need a permit for concealed carry. Of course, you have a permit to have the gun, but you can carry a gun on your hip wherever you go. And we've seen that at multiple stores and stuff that we've gone on, people just walking around with revolvers on their hip. It's like the Wild West. Um, Wild West Virginia. Wild West Virginia. Um, so I think we have decided that we are going to further our redneck cause um, by buying pickup truck and setting up a camper and property in West Virginia. We're also going to get a gun to carry around out here because <laughs> with uh, snakes and bears coyotes i don't think we're gonna shoot a snake but well yeah we probably won't shoot a snake but um just in case just to have some sort of protection as we're walking around the property because everything as you've seen is very wooded very overgrown and uh anything could creep up on you and this will be our first night staying here they said um that we shouldn't be bothered by anything as long as we keep all food locked up in the truck so we are we food ate free. we we wait huh we're food free yeah we're food free so we, we ate dinner of sandwiches and um, then repacked everything and put it in the truck and we're going to lock it in there tonight so that we don't have to be feared for our lives. Um, so yeah. So I'm hoping all this video comes out okay. I'll do more during the day tomorrow before we leave. Um, oh, and what I was going to follow that up with is that he said that we could leave our camper here and it would be fine. He said, if I see any other vehicle towing uh, your camper besides this truck here, he's like, I'll know that it's somebody doing their not what they're not supposed to be doing. But um, he said something we don't have to worry about. So instead of hauling our camper back and forth, I think we've decided that to save on gas and just stress of towing the camper up here, uh, like every weekend or every other weekend, that we're just going to shut it down, put a tarp over it, and... Um, Home in the fall. We'll bring it home in the fall, and that will free up some driveway space for the next few weeks at our house. So, good stuff. Takes a load off of our mind, and now that we got the pickup truck, hence pickup truck, uh, we can haul. You know, we have plenty of room to haul all the tools and dirty stuff in the back of the truck, and put our uh, bed stuff and clothes in the back seat. So we're good. And food. And food. All food in the back seat. No. Well, no, that's after we get up here. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be it for now because it's getting pretty dark. The little lights are glowing. The little battery-powered lights are glowing. Um, as you can see, actually, over that way, it's much lighter. But because we are in the deep Sherwood forest, it gets dark much earlier back in here. Um, but even though we didn't get anywhere near done what I'd hoped we'd get done on our first day here because we got up here so late, I'm happy that we got a snake-free kind of mowed, mowed, mowed area um, that will be nice to walk around in and it's cleared and we're going to work on some pathways and stuff up the creek tomorrow and I'll show you that then. So there's a next step of uh, the, our homesteading process. Once we get some clearing done, uh, we're hoping maybe this fall or at least by early spring that we have electric uh, run here into the property so then we don't have the problem with no power to the camper and water um, and then up, um, lots of water up here yeah lots of water and springs up here so uh and we got some sycamore trees right near where i had originally planned on putting the um well anyway so uh sycamores mean that there's a lot of water nearby so that should be good too and plus if i put it up the well up farther will be up farther out of the flood plain and it'll be more of a central area where we want our build site to be up that way and some other maybe smaller buildings down here that will be in the flood plain um, but they will just be sheds or whatever so all right
So signing out for tomorrow. 99. Okay, it's morning. Say hi, Mitzi. Hi, Mitzi. So, uh, it was a quiet night. No bears came. Um, although we... Yeah, we were worried about it. We woke up a few times and uh, trying to decide what noises were going on. A lot of tree frogs and other crazy stuff making noise all night long. It's actually pretty loud in the woods. But walking through this area that I started weed whacking, you can see there versus there where it's not weed whacked. I wanted to walk out here well, it's kind of hard to see from here, but there's a um, pretty cool spider web. It looks better from farther away with the sunshine on it. Now that I'm up close on it, you can't see it as good. <clears throat> He's pretty busy up on there, though. I don't know if you can see that with the sun. I don't know how that's going to come out on the camera. Maybe right there. Can you kind of see it? Anyway. Oh, walking in the trees. So, water's still flowing good. Right up there, when we got here yesterday, there was, uh, the two, actually there was three deer, but one was a mama and her baby. That was cute, standing right in the middle of the creek. So, got this cut down. I want to start working on this area up here today. And start cutting the path up along the side of the creek and clear out some of this. I got part of this dead tree that had fallen over. Got the top half cut back making a little brush pile over there that we can use for uh, <clears throat> tinder at some point when we put together a fire pit. So even though we didn't um, have the electric for the fan last night, it actually got pretty cool and it even got kind of chilly. So but we had our blankets and uh, whatnot and it, it was actually pretty nice for that. Um, we got up fairly early this morning. Well, McDonald's got our coffee and breakfast. Use bathroom, since you know we don't have one of those here. Uh, so until we can either get, um, it's gonna be a while before we can get septic in here. But we had talked about getting a porta potty, but we'll see. In the meantime, we'll just have to. Uh, head up to McDonald's or Sheets to um, go to the bathroom and make sure we leave in time because it's about a 15 minute drive on these little back roads even though it's only about eight or nine miles actually probably closer to 20 minutes to get up there but again this is more area that needs to be cut back I don't think I'll get to all that today because uh, using this big heavy weed whacker without a harness is wears you out pretty quick So hopefully all this comes out okay on the video. I gotta remember next time we come up that I gotta bring the rest of my equipment to make it easier to set up video.